it looks like we have gotten some rain overnight now some of the drizzle is coming off of my roof it's not raining anymore because when I went to the washroom it was not raining at all but, uh, yeah so now we are on our way to go try and make all our three deliveries today that's about a 500 kilometer spam let's see if we can make it it's gonna be tight I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty tight but we'll see I think we could be could be making it we'll give it our best shot anyways so let's get down the road and uh, see what happens thank you guys for joining me today well guys we just got unloaded at the first drop and uh, I hadn't had anything to eat yet so just across the street from the place was a Champ Hortons so we had to get ourselves a cup of coffee and some good coffee yeah it definitely is we got about uh, two hours to go to our next delivery so we'll see uh, if we can find the place right now it looks kind of hard to find it because the address uh, I've been given is on a township road and no GPS can find it, uh, streets and trips can't find it, uh, I looked on the internet there and can't find it either so I'm gonna have to give them a call and a little bit later on and see if uh, they can give me directions in there you know but uh, anyways we're cruising back on the road now and enjoying a good cup of coffee Oh yeah, nothing like a good Tim Hortons cup of coffee, right? That's right. So let's get down the road and see uh, if we can get all three places off today. I kind of doubt it a little bit, but we'll see. Here we go guys, we are on a gravel road right now. These are places we truckers sometimes have to go. I don't like to go down a gravel road but in this case I just have to because I gotta make a delivery up here in the middle of nowhere up here in Alberta yes sir Bob yeah I got some uh, snowmobiles on right now I gotta deliver some snowmobiles up here winter is creeping up on us again like I said the other day, starting to cool off pretty good already overnight. And it cooled off pretty good there overnight last night already. In the morning when I woke up it was almost cold in my truck. Just about the time where we start gonna have to use the bunk heaters again, you know. But uh, so these uh, these dealers are starting to order some Polaris. Uh, Snowmobiles, you know, so that's what I'm delivering today. 500 meters, turn right on Township Road 552. Uh, Rand McNally doesn't like me going down this road, but I had to actually use my phone GPS in order to find this place. I called them up and uh, asked them how to get to their place, and they told me uh, if I had an Apple phone, they said that uh, Apple uh, mapping system is able to find it correctly, so told me how to search for it and uh, how to find it and I did I did so now we just gotta Continue on try and get there you know <laughs> yeah which is a bit of a rough road but hey that's what we have to do we have to do you gotta do it sometimes but that's okay my second drop 
we're only about seven kilometers away from the place and then uh, we'll have to see how far it is to the next place see if we can find that place I already tried typing the address into the GPS on the Rand McNally here RJ and he wasn't able to find it so we might just have to use the phone GPS again to try and get there <laughs> yep anyways let's get down to our delivery place and hopefully keep our fingers crossed that it will be the correct place well, the route us to the right destination at least that's what I'm trying to say and that way we don't have to try and make a u-turn here somewhere and go another direction because it's almost impossible to turn around up here so let's keep our fingers crossed and now we get at uh, the right place and then we'll do our delivery well isn't this a awesome sign up here voila we have gotten to this Polaris place that is awesome yes sorry in the middle of the bushes up here I don't know how people can start a business like this up here but oh look at that they even got a ramp wow these guys are improving we never used to uh, have ramps you know like most of these places they never had ramps that's just the way it goes so let's make a u-turn up here and then we'll uh, see if we can get close up to that uh, ramp that's where they probably will unload me yes sir let's get a real short real tight I'm pretty sure that's what they want me to do but we'll go in there and check with them so we'll be right back well guys here we go that didn't take very long to get unloaded only took about a half an hour and we are out of here now we got to find our way out of here <laughs> and now we got about uh, well I'll say about two and a half hours to go to our next delivery place and that will be our last delivery place we got two snowmobiles left on here and that will bring us up to very close to Red Deer Alberta so let's get down there and then uh, we'll see what we will do from there I uh, haven't talked to dispatch yet and see what they will have for me after this but pretty sure they'll have some from Calgary or somewhere up there somewhere because uh, Edmonton is usually a little bit slower so it's most likely that will be Calgary where I'll be picking up so we'll see we'll see that would be nice if I could pick up a, a load there in Calgary tonight or tomorrow morning and then start heading home because uh, I'll have lots of hours left even after I do this next delivery. I only got 300 kilometers in right now, and it's only 205 kilometers up to the next location. And yesterday I did 1188 kilometers, so so I should be able to uh, get some more miles in today yet if they will tell me which direction to go probably send, uh, send a message here later on a little bit let dispatch know what my ETA is to uh, second or uh, third drop there and then my final drop and then uh, he can uh, start looking for a reload for me so so let's get down there and uh, we'll see what we see between here and there here we go guys we just finished unloading at our last place dispatch sent me a message saying I can go towards Calgary and he will have a load for me there tomorrow morning at least that's what he says so we'll make our way down to Calgary hey maybe that gives me a good idea maybe I can call JP maybe he's not busy tonight and I can uh, maybe meet up with him now that would be something, wouldn't it? 
construction ahead. It would. So we might just have to do that. So let's get down there and see what happens. Well guys, we are here in Calgary now. It's still drizzling a little bit, but not too bad, you know. We had a uh, nice shower in here and uh, so we are done. We don't have a reload just yet, but uh, dispatch said they will have one tomorrow morning for me. So we'll just have to uh, wait till tomorrow morning, I guess, and uh, find out what we'll, uh, we'll be doing tomorrow. I'm suspecting that we'll get a uh, load close by up here and pick it up. He said that he's got a load going to Brandon, so we'll see uh, if that's the case or not, you know. But anyways, just figured I'd close off the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you liked it, wouldn't you mind giving me a thumbs up, share the video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, we would love to have you on board. We got all kinds of interesting videos going on all the time. We're all over the place. We do all kinds of different stuff. So would uh would help me a lot if you would subscribe to me. So thank you very much guys and we will see you on the next one. Have an awesome day.